You know, the thing with the early disciples that came to him, when he first came to America, he came to try to give everybody the feeling that they could do it too. I remember a woman in the church in Hollywood saying to me, I've been practicing career yoga for six months and I haven't had samadhi yet. <clears throat> well, samadhi is something you have to work at for a long time. But he made it seem easy. And so the people who came to him in the early years made, got the feeling that he was just a human being, a great man, but not a, not a master. We who came to him later in life had a very different understanding of who he was. He, could sp he was speaking then more frankly and openly of his oneness with God. This, I remember um, Dr. Lewis told me when they were young men together, when Yogananda came as a very young man, and he told him that, uh, that he told us that he and Yogananda used to wrestle together. And I said, well, who won? And he said, well, I let him win. Well, you know, Yogananda could have beaten, he, he would get up on the stage in Boston and ask people to come up and try to hold him down. One time, six burly policemen stepped up there and they pushed him against the wall and he said, are you ready? Yeah. They blipped his stomach like that. They all fell back into the orchestra pit. But he was a very strong man. Nonetheless, this slightly condescending, well, I let him win. Tara, uh, there was a time when Yogananda was with me and the, another disciple out at 29 Palms. And uh, this disciple asked him about a saint that Yogananda had seen in vision in Encinitas. And Yogananda said, well, um, I don't know whom you mean. And I was surprised. He said, well, he said, so many come to me. How, how, how can I remember which one you're talking about? I expressed surprise that so many saints would come to him. And he answered, why be surprised? Wherever God is, there his saints come. Well, that was, his, that was what he said, wherever God is, there his saints come. When Tara edited that, she said, wherever devotee of God is. And the Master said, that's how that sentence comes out. That isn't what he said, I'm a devotee of God. I cannot claim to have been so pestered <laughs> with visions all the time. But he had that power. Tara said one time, Master said, we are not a sect. She said, I know we're not a sect. Well, we are a sect. In other words, they felt free to, to disagree with him on things. I wouldn't dare. I tell you, when I was in his presence, to me it felt as if I was in the presence of God. To Norman, one time, Yogananda said that, uh, he said to Yogananda, whenever I see you, I think of the Divine Mother. And Yogananda didn't say humbly, oh, don't say that, I'm not anything, etc. He said, then behave accordingly. He was quite outspoken about a few things, just as Jesus was. When Jesus said, I and my Father are one, and the Pharisees criticized him for blaspheming, he said, don't your scriptures say, I and my Father are one? Ye, no, don't the scriptures say, ye are gods? We're all gods.